Last night as I was finishing up a script for a Shrek video that I'm working on, I was checking out YouTube and just seeing what was happening with everyone. That's when I stumbled upon Hatsune Elisu's post about Sarah's school life being discontinued. Elisu's post is only a couple hours old at this point, so I began searching for clues as to why this happened. And instantly on Sarah's school life's YouTube channel, I can see that their name has been changed indicating the end of the game and the end of their YouTube channel. At this point, for anyone who doesn't know what Sarah's school life is or doesn't know much about the Yandere simulator community, I suggest that you check out my other videos on the subject for context. These videos cover every detail about the community from 2014 to 2020. So if there's anything you're missing out on, I suggest starting there. But for those who uh, want a quick TLDR, here you go. Yandere Simulator is a game being developed by Alex Mahan, aka Yandere Dev. Alex started developing Yandere Simulator in 2014 and released videos of his progress on YouTube as well as updated people via a WordPress. Now this may seem pretty typical and no big deal, but the main thing that is the issue with Yandere Simulator is that the person developing the game is completely incompetent when it comes to writing code. The demo that was recently released took six years to complete with financial support coming in to help speed up the game's development. Now a lot of people could find this a little odd that the game hasn't even reached a point at which it could be called a demo and has gained hundreds of thousands of dollars in support. Some might even call it a scam. Which could be a little extreme because, albeit, there is progress to the game's development. And this is where I will introduce the rival Yandere Simulator fan games. Throughout the years of Yandere Simulator's development, there have been rival game developers who have been vocal or silent online as they've developed their games. Some app games have just come out that have been great successes on iOS and Android since 2015 while others have tons of hype because of social media manipulation and lies and shortly after fall apart like the game Alex has been coding for six years. There have been a few notable PC Yandere Simulator fan games, which can I note that it's funny that these are called fan games because the people making them usually don't care about Yandere Dev at all. The fan games that are on PC that are the most noteworthy are Watashi no Mono, Love Letter, and the most recent and claimed by the community to be the most fun of them was Sarah's School Life. I had a chance to play this game personally, but while I've been transitioning from a reaction channel to a commentary channel, I really don't find much room to talk about the game. You might be asking yourself, what do all of these games have in common? Watashi no Mono, Love Letter, My True Feelings, and Sarah's School Life. If your answer was that the developers were suffocated by the drama from the Yandore Simulator community, you would be correct. Sarah's School Life gained a lot of popularity because of the titans of Yandere Simulator again, Bijou Mike and Cub Scouts. No, I'm not saying anything bad about these precious boys. I'm just saying that their let's plays during the heightened Yandere Dev drama spree of the summer of 2020 probably skyrocketed the game's presence in ways the developer never expected. This was a game that was never meant to be lumped in with Yandere Simulator's community, according to Sarah Dev. Let me read from their about page and community posts, which will be their last words on their YouTube channel. But first, a description of the game from Sarah Dev themselves. Sarah's School Life is an Android game that is confirmed to be a PC port. It is a fan game of Yandere Simulator. The game's protagonist Sarah can't figure out whether she is the bad or good person in the story. In the first act, her brother named Soma has fallen in love with Akari, a school bully. Sarah hates the fact that her brother got this girlfriend as she is known to be extremely cruel to anyone, including Sarah. Sarah, having been one of her favorite victims in the past, decided that she would get rid of Akari by any means, even if it meant hurting her. And now their YouTube community posts. Hello again. 
I just wanted to apologize for my past behavior to those affected by it. I recognize that I can be really stubborn and explode in people's faces too easily. It's happened before in my comment section and I regret it a lot. I want to improve myself as a person. I want to be less stubborn and I want to be more calm when responding to people and handling others' opinions better. There have been multiple instances where people tried to help me, suggesting I should delete annoying comments, age restrict my videos, add more words to the blacklisted word filter, but I didn't want to listen to them. I recognized I was wrong, and I'm sorry. Also, please take everything I've said about Sarah's school life in the past with a grain of salt. This game still is in very early development, so if I ever replied to your comment saying something like, no, that won't happen, yes, that will happen, there's a slight chance that it's not accurate anymore. Sarah's school life is still changing. Only some things are 100% set in stone, such as this not being a mobile yandere simulator. But other things aren't set in stone and could change. I just want to interject my thoughts right here real quick because Sarah Dev themselves had constantly said that this game was a Yandere simulator fan game and that it was a Android game and that it was also a PC port. So unfortunately, if what they wanted was to make this not a Yandere simulator Android game, they should have never presented it the way they did. I'm not sure uh, why they never changed the description of the game in certain places. I think that would have helped their case a lot. Uh, but let's continue on and read their final about page post. Please stop making videos about Sarah's school life. I wonder if this is um, them speaking to themselves or if they're speaking directly to other YouTubers. The dates say September 2009 to November 2020. And here is why they stopped development and why they stopped posting videos on their YouTube channel. Here's why. A younger audience, drama, and too much popularity. Sarah's School Life should have been a PC exclusive. It's my fault for making it available on Android. The majority of the fan base was kids who want to play Yandere Simulator on phones. My videos were age restricted and there were a lot of disclaimers that this game wasn't for kids, but no one listened. I made it clear that I was making this for fun and didn't want to be associated with Yandere Simulator drama, but people still tried to bring it into my game in different ways. Seeing children's unhealthy obsession with Sarah's school life and seeing people trying to involve my game in drama as the game grew got very overwhelming for me. I'm sorry if I've hurt you in the past. I'm trying to improve myself and I want to become less stubborn, less hypocritical and handle opinions better. I've made mistakes and I apologize. I appreciate those who have supported the game without causing any problems. Please forget about Sarah's school life and move on. And that seems to be all there is from Sarah Dev. I've checked, you know, their Facebook post and it seems to be this consistent post across the board. What is on their about page. As I'm reading Sarah Dev's last post, I'm remembering how Apis had said that the Yandere simulator genre is cursed. And if you make a Yandere game, there is bound to be drama behind it and that there will be a toxic and hateful community. At this point, I'm not really sure that they were wrong. I don't remember hearing anything negative about Sarah's school life's dev, but it seems that this mostly happened in their comment section on their YouTube channel. It seems like it all got to them very quickly, and maybe they just reacted harshly a few times towards people. At this point with the information given, I can only speculate about it and I wanted to make this video in order to hear what the community thinks about this. If anybody was there directly or maybe saw some of these comments themselves, it's all kind of reminding me of how Yandere Dev was at the beginning of his development. 
I just want to say if there were any PC Yandere Simulator games that I missed, please let me know. We can continue this discussion in another video next time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more content. Everyone take care. Later.